We'd like to say thank you to our great God for what he has begun to do at this very first Holy Ghost service in this new year of the redeemed Christian Church of God. Can you just say thank you, Jesus? And we appreciate our pastor, Pastor Charles Pandey, for leading us in the offering tonight. Right now, as we go on in this service, it is time to declare God's wonders amidst his people. And we will be, first of all, taking a few online testimonies. And thereafter, we'll take the live testifiers. So for those who are also joining this service online tonight, from wherever you are watching from, you have received your testimony. Or as you receive your testimony, please endeavor to post your testimonies online so that it will be taken at the right time. Sister Damilola from the United States of America had severe pain last month, August, and was admitted via emergency. Despite all the different pain medication she was given, the pain increased, causing a sleepless night. She took the cloth she raised for prayers during the August convention last month and asked the God of Daddy Enoch Adeboye to please let the sevenfold anointed prayed on by Daddy to walk in her life. Instantly, she received her healing. Sister Moteniola Adeyemi from Canada, she discovered a lump in one of her breasts and her doctor told her that the result was not looking good and was booked for urgent biopsy and chemotherapy. Physicians that physicians recommended for her. She turned to God asking for mercies, anointed herself with the oil prayed on by Daddy Gio. She also placed the handkerchiefs prayed on during the August convention on herself and cried to God. When she got back to the hospital, everything had returned to normal. The doctor shouted that this is not normal. This is a miracle. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Brother Adeyemi from Nigeria was diagnosed with HIV last year. He sent a letter to our father and the Lord, and daddy responded that he will testify and that he should go and do the test again. He did the test again. It was negative. HIV disappeared. Sister Joyce Ungu from Kenya. Her two sons were very sick. And as instructed by Daddy Gio during the August 2022 convention, that we should lay hands on the sick and they will recover. She laid her hands on both of them and instantly they received their healing. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Now let's have the live testifiers tonight. Praise the Lord. Our name is Mr. and Mrs. Lanley. 2012, when we had this same program, I came here asking God for the fruit of the womb. 2013, I got pregnant and I gave back to my daughter, Finifolua. My daughter was a, a year and six months. My husband became sick. He lost his, mem he lost his memory of sudden. He could not remember anybody. We were taken to, he was taken to um, General Hospital. When we got there, we spent two weeks, and when they did CT scan, they said a blood vessel busted on his brain side, and he needed surgery. We were referred to last suit. Four weeks we were in last suit, he was in and out of coma. To the extent the doctors could not give us any clue. Later, one of our brethren came and prayed for us. He advised me to go to headquarters. Their daddy is having text, uh, Thanksgiving service day. I went there, I took the handkerchief and oil there. Daddy prayed on it, and I took it back to last suit, where my husband was lying down. And I placed the handkerchief on him. The next morning, the nurse that was on duty came to me and said he saw something strange. That some strange people came to where my husband was lying down. They were so tall and they were dressed like a doctor. They came to the side and they pulled him up. They opened his skull and they were bringing out maggots from his head. And he was shouting, why is this maggot so much? But they, you could not see their heads. 
At the end of the day, after they butter the maggots, they close his head back. Lo and behold, for four weeks of in and out of coma, my husband regained consciousness. Praise the Lord. Let somebody shout hallelujah. My name is Dickness Adeni from Ogu Province 23. Sometimes ago, before the COVID-19, I came to the campground. As soon as I entered the campground, I heard daddy, our daddy in the Lord, that daddy boy said, there is someone here in your place of fall that gang up against you. Lo and behold, all those that gang up against you, they will bow down before you. Before three weeks, there was elevation, promotion in my place of work. I was among those that were elevated. And those people that gang up against me, they came down. We, in that place, anything they want to do, if they want to do anything, they will come to my office. They came down, they bowed down before me. I bless the name of the Lord. Secondly, in June, my mom called me. She said, our dickness, come, your dad cannot hear anything again. I said, ah, okay, I will come. Come and anoint your dad here. I, I went there. When I went there, they told me the doctor gave them appointment. After a week, they should come back. And I, I noted my daddy's year, and I came down to camp, July Holy Ghost service. I was praying, and daddy, our daddy in the Lord, daddy, daddy boy said, any sickness, any sickness, whatsoever sickness, tell it to God, God will remove it. I was crying, I was praying that daddy, you should do this. Lord Jesus, you do this. After that day, my mom called me. They've gone to the hospital. The tumor that the, the doctor said was in my daddy's ear, in the both ear, that the doctor said that they can't find the tumor. It's just dirty. They will just clean the ear. I bless the name of the Lord for what God has done in my life, in my home. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I am Oba, assistant pastor, Abdul Rashid. Abayobi Banjo. The Olokine of Ojowo Ijebubo. I've come to appreciate God for saving my soul and for adding to me and my daughter this month. And more importantly, to tell God's people about the wonderful, wonderful story of my enthronement. When there was vacancy on that stool, they listed some criteria and some elders, they contacted me that, okay, you were qualified. Short, no sooner than that was done, they realized that I was a pastor in Redeem and they decided to wage a war. The wonderful thing about the war they waged was that the first head of the rebel died they thought it was a shy play. They appointed another one, he died. They thought it was a shy play. The third one, they appointed, he died. They thought it was a shy play. When he came to fault, they now realized that it was not a shy play. And another person took it. Number four died. Number five died. Number six died. The seventh person had to take to his heels. The seventh person had to take to his heels. As I talk to you now, they have been coming. And I told them, you said that by the time you finish dealing with me, the God of Adeboye will not be able to help me. I am going to do Thanksgiving. There is a committee Thanksgiving we are doing on the 17th. Come! Because I had already reported you to God. Until you come openly, I might not be able to help you. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Who 
Uziti Zizo. Oh my God. Wow. My name is Isa Akoina Samana. I'm from Chad. So I came here to testify. 25 August, my sister called me and said, Mommy died. I said, God forbid. I take handkerchief and touch her. Run to Old Auditorium. I said, Father, in the name of Jesus, arise. Please, I want to see my mommy. After three and four hours, my mommy. My, 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 my sister asked me. She said, my sister told me, she said, mommy want to eat. She said she want to eat. I begin to testify. Everybody testify. You are good. Do what do you are do. You are do. Every testify. Amen. When Mommy Gio went to our school, Eden Edemiji, Ocean State, February, that place she sat. Somebody come and collect before me. I run. I say, Father, in the name of Jesus, this year is my year. I must speak very well English because before I cannot speak English like today. That's one. Two. I say, to this year, I must ordain like Dickens. God is wonderful. Who did Jesus? Oh my God. Wow. Mrs. Oshion Udoka from Lagos Province 45. I've come to return all the glory to God Almighty for saving my husband after the past Holy Ghost convention, this last convention. It happened when we closed on Sunday. I went home. On Monday morning, I was privileged. I'm giving the testimony on behalf of my husband. On Monday, when I got home, it happened when, during this uh, last convention, I dropped my anointing oil in Daddy's, uh, Daddy Gio's office. So when I got home on Monday, the Spirit of God ministered to me that should anoint my husband's picture, anointed his picture. In the night when we are doing our devotion, the Spirit of God ministered to me again that I should anoint his picture, anointed his picture. When I was about to sleep, the Spirit of God will not allow me rest. He said, don't sleep. Because if you sleep, you will sleep off. You won't be able to pray. I said, Father, I just came back from camp one week. Let me just sleep this night. So when I slept, it's like somebody tapped me around 11 o'clock. I woke up. He said, start praying. I started praying for my husband. He said, I should anoint his picture again. The third time, I anointed his picture. Then I pick up my phone and call my husband. The number was not going. So when I slept, I was praying till 2 o'clock and I slept. Immediately around the 2 o'clock, I woke up again. The Spirit of God said I should pray for my husband. I started praying. Lo and behold, that ring, many of you saw it on net. That ring that capsized in Delta State, my husband was among them. The Lord saved my husband. How he saved my husband, he cannot explain. How he came out from the water, the sea, he cannot explain. Many people died. They are still searching for some people. But my husband came back, came out alive. Children of the Lord, praise the Lord. People of God, shout hallelujah. My name is Bumide Ramo from Ogun Province 31. I am here to testify to the goodness of the Lord 
in the, jo in the last just concluded convention beyond expectation, there is a Muslim sister beside my business office where I sell things. She came running, run, you know, she ran to me on Monday morning after the convention and said, Mommy, I've been looking for you. I learned to went to come. I said, yes, I just came back. And she opened her back to me. Immediately she opened the back, I said, Jesus, this is a spiritual attack on you. And lo and behold, I took the anointed oil that was anointed by our Father in the Lord. And I applied it and I said, do you believe in the name Jesus? She said, yes, I believe in the name Jesus. I led her to Christ and I applied the anointing on her back. And before the next morning comes, she came running back to me and said, Mommy, Jesus has done it. The place has dried up and it has become black. Who did this? Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I am Mrs. Grace Soriowo. 2019, I was here for the Holy Ghost Convention. After that administration on Friday, a man was seated beside me. He just looked at me and said, Sister, when are you getting married? I told him, I said, I'm sorry. I never came here because of marriage. I needed a job. He said, God said I should tell you, this is time for you to get married. I said, I'm sorry. I don't, I'm not even in a relationship. He said, this time is the time. I looked at him and I broke down. I told him of my past relationship. I thought he's going to sympathize with me. But he told me this. He said, Auntie, God may be looking at this side. You'll be looking at this side. Go and pray because God is interested in your marriage. I said, okay. As I was about moving, I looked at him. I said, sir, what is your name? He said, I am Michael. I said, what is your number? He said, don't ask me my number. When it happens, I want to hear your testimony on this altar. I thanked him. I went to the, um, to the old auditorium for the prayer walk. He came beside me again. He said, sister, when it happens, I want to hear your testimony on this altar. I want to return all the glory to God of that other boy. The next month, I got engaged. 2020, I got married to the glory of God. And I have come to the hallowed altar to come and say as he has said. I am on this altar to say, he has done it. It has happened. And I've come to return all glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I have come to give God all the glory. I thank God for the salvation of my soul. I'm Sister Ogudipe Abigail from Lagos Province 14. In the year 2019, during the September Holy Ghost service, I came with a, heavy, with a heavy heart because July that year, I had a miscarriage and September 1st that year, I actually lost my only child. So I came with a heavy heart. And in the course of the prayer, our Father in the Lord prayed for as many that were trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And he also said, if there's any part of our body that is missing, we should ask God for replacement. I told God that as a result of the surgery that I did in 2013, where my left ovary was removed, that I wanted a replacement. And while I was going to see the gynecologist for follow-up as how to get pregnant, they told me, they said, Madam, you said you did an ovarectomy, that your left ovary was removed, but we can see two ovaries, and they don't even look alike. I have come to return glory to God because he replaced my ovary. And as if that was not enough, when I saw the consultant gynecologist in January 2020, he told me, he said, Madam, we can't help you. We will need to remove your two ovaries because you have cysts and they have grown so big. And you also have fibroids, so you can't carry a child. And I told him, I said, I don't have any child. And you are telling me this. He said, well, you could go to the bridge clinic. They can give you egg donor. Then it will fertilize with your husband's sperm. But I told it to God. I said, God, only you can do this. Then I called a Christian sister who was a consultant gynecologist. And she told me, whose report do you want to believe? And I said, God's report. And she joined me in prayer. They told me to come back April 4, 2020 to come and do surgery to remove the ovaries. But to God be the glory. Before the end of March, God made me to become pregnant. And by December 2020, I delivered the promised child, Isaac Wanda Ogutipe. And December last year, God gave unto me 
Isabel Ogunipe, the one that is devoted to God. To God be the glory. Let a living soul shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the children of God shout hallelujah. My name is Gabriel Olao Nipekun Orewale. On Saturday of the convention, the 12th August, I got a call in the evening that my brother here, senior to me, couldn't lift up his right hand, left leg, right, right hand, right leg. Ah, that should be stroke. So I was disturbed in my spirit. After the Thanksgiving service on Sunday, I took the anointed handkerchief. I went to his house. I saw him. He couldn't lift up his right hand. He couldn't walk right leg. Ah, and I said, okay, I have a cure here. I brought out the anointed handkerchief, and I pray in his house, and I told God, perform wonders. Let power flow from this anointed handkerchief into his right hand, right leg, so that by the September Holy Ghost service, he and I will return to testify to the goodness of God. When I called on the third day, I was told he had started to walk. Ah. And I said, that is the God I serve. Today, he can walk, he can lift up, walk to the front, he can Glory. lift up his leg. Glory. That is you. Who did it? Jesus. Let somebody shout hallelujah. My name is Shola Olatono. With me is my wife, Dari Olatono. I'm here to testify to the, to, goodness, to the goodness of God in our lives. I was diagnosed of kidney failure in December. The doctor said I have to go for, I have to start dialysis immediately. That my EGFR has gone so bad to 20%. I think, I don't know how to explain EGFR. But EGFR, I think, is a function of my age and the parameters they use in checking the kidney function. So I called my wife. I said, this is what the doctor said. She said I should not worry, that that is their own report, but she will get in touch with God and get in touch with Daddy Gio. Lo and behold, she wrote a letter to Daddy Gio, and one week after, Daddy Gio responded that we will give testimony and that God has healed me. My wife went further by getting Holy Communion from uh, one of our sisters, which she got from that year too. And she brought it to me at Ife because I was admitted at Obafemi Aulo University Teaching Hospital. She brought it to me and I took the Holy Communion. Before then, for a very long time, like two months, I could not ease myself and I could not defecate. The night I took, she brought the Holy Communion, we prayed on it, I took it. The following morning, I was able to urinate for the first time in two months, okay? The following night, two days after, right, I was able to defecate. And I called my doctor that this is what is happening. He said, wow, I should just be taking warm water to make sure the process goes well. When I went for the test again, the EGFR has gone to 35%. So, meaning I don't need to do any dialysis. As at, as at the end of March, when I repeated the test, the EGFR has gone to 99%. The EGFR. <laughs> the doctor was marvelled. When he saw me, he said, young man, you have a new kidney. How, how it happened, he said, when kidney is damaged, it's hardly reverse. This is a, a, a miracle. It's hardly reverse. It's, the work of a nephrologist is to manage it and slow down the process of damaging. But this one, God replaced it. After the meal of only 
communion. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Dickiness Boladeban Kolye from LP22. I want to testify to the goodness of God concerning my daughter, 2015, that the GO said he need more of choir to minister as the mass choir. So I told her to go and join the mass choir. She said, Mommy, she cannot join that. They are uniform, this and that and that. I said, okay. 2016, she went for her youth service. When she returned 2022, 2027, 2017, when she returned, I told her, go and join the mass choir. She said, Mommy, their uniform is too expensive. And that 2018, she took her master's. After the master's, she was trusting God for husband. And I told her, go and join the mass choir. She said, Mommy, don't, ah, they are uniform. I said, okay. I said, it's only God that should be doing your own. You don't want to do God's own. You have your HND. You have your ND. You have your BSc. You have your master's. Now you want to go for PhD, but you don't want to do God's own. Then I, I continue praying. Then one day, a friend invited her for a get-together. I said she should follow her friend. And she followed her friend. In that outing, she met a pastor who told her that, young lady, you are the one delaying yourself in the area of marital settlement. That go and do what God asked you to do. Then you will see your husband. Then she got home and said, mommy, this is what a pastor told her today. I said, eh? I've been telling you to go and join the mass choir. Then that January last year, she said, Lord, Lord, forgive me. I'm ready to join the mass choir. And she came for the, for the Riaza that January last year. February, during the Holy Ghost service of miracle, the husband appeared from United Kingdom. So cut the long story short, this year, February, the, the wedding was conducted at City of Great, RCCG, City of Great Peterborough, United Kingdom. So the glory of God. My second testimony is that last year I was sick. After the sickness, I started having noise in my, in my head, to my ears. I went to the general hospital, all the medicine given to me, all to no avail. I want to appreciate the Almighty God during the convention that the Jew said, God said there is someone here. You have been having noise in your ear. That God said, after the next hallelujah, it is gone. I want to give glory to God. That God deliver me from this head noise to the glory of God. I appreciate the Almighty God who has done what no man can do in my life, in my family. I say may his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Who did it? Jesus. Oh my God. Wow. Praise the Lord. My name is Damilola Banjo, and with me here is my husband, Adekunle Banjo. We got married in May 2015, and because I used to have um, painful menstrual pain, we wrote to our Father in the Lord, Pastor Yadeboye, to please pray with us concerning healing and fruits of the womb, among other things. Then he replied that the Lord will fight our battle and we will carry our babies and he will give us healing. Then, in, then we didn't even know there was any battle ahead. Then in March 2016, I was, um, I was diagnosed with endometriosis. And endometriosis will cause infertility. Then at a point, a doctor said, maybe you should consider adoption. But we won't thank the name of the Lord because we kept trusting on the word of God through our Father in the Lord that the Lord will fight our battles. He keeps reinforcing his word through our pastor, um, 
in charge of our parish. I belong to Area 007, uh, Province 48, Lagos Province 48. And he kept telling us that it will end in praise. That is what God said concerning her matter. When we go to the Open Heavens Gallery, we will tell God, Mommy Gio's bed, she is not barren, we cannot be barren. Daddy Gio stayed in this room, he is not barren, we cannot be barren. On Mount Carmel, we kept telling God that if you made the man that established this mountain to be fruitful, we cannot be fruitless. I want to bless the name of the Lord because we kept believing the words of knowledge from the Shiloh house, from the Holy Ghost services and all. And today, we have our testimony. Because in October 2020, I was confirmed pregnant. And 1st of June 2021, the Lord blessed us with our multiple blessings, our multiple wonder. Peace, banjo. And Eri Sheoluwanimi, joy, banjo. And not only did the Lord bless us with the fruits of the womb, but He also granted us healing. In those six years of waiting, in a year I could go into the theater three times, and it was not just a year. Every year I go into the theater countless times. But I want to bless the name of the Lord because since the arrival of those beauties, of these multiple wonders, it has been healing. I have not entered the theater again for surgery concerning endometriosis. The Lord has taken away those monthly pain, and we have forgotten our miseries like water that passes away. We have come to give God the praise. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. It's been an awesome harvest of miracles, signs, and wonders tonight. All over the place, can we give the Lord a standing ovation as we wave our hand to Him, shouting, Thank you, Jesus, so that He can do more, 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 more. It's been a harvest of signs, wonders, instant performances of the word of the Lord. The anointing, ministering, divine rescue. Just say thank you, Jesus. Shout to him, thank you, Jesus. Wave to him. Thank you, Jesus. Wherever you are watching from, shout it, thank you, Jesus, so that he can do more in this season, in this night, in this new church here, in the redeemed Christian church of God. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Lord, we are grateful. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your name. Thank you, God of wonders. Continue with your wonders to perform and just continue to glorify your name. Be thou exalted forever. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.